it, the adjustments for a classroom teacher have pretty much all been positive. I think before in the pullout model, we kind of felt isolated. Um, there was not a connection, in my opinion, between what they were doing in their group and then what we were doing in the classroom. And this makes it so much easier. Um, I also can rely on their expertise. For example, in reading, Amy is really, really good at the beginning reading, getting ready to read. So she's got some skills that aren't my strengths. So um, I can use her in the classroom to kind of fill in those gaps. It's actually awesome. Um, one, just the extra person in there, hands-on, meeting more kids' needs. The other benefit of that is that some of our, our um, lower performing students that need extra help are getting that benefit, whereas they wouldn't be getting it before. You know, Amy, when she comes into my classroom, works with all children, not just um, the special ed identified students, so. Planning is probably one of the greatest struggles um, we currently have, it really has to be made a non-negotiable to be able to make the time for her and I or any of the teachers to collaborate with one another. Um, we are given opportunities during PLCs. There are classroom teachers available along with the SPED representative. So those are weekly opportunities. Um, beyond that, there might be a quick passing in the hallway conversation, a quick moment when we arrive into the classroom to debrief what's going on, and or we'll make time at the beginning of the school day or after school. So it's just making it a priority.